In the dark ages, little light was shed on anything. Hence the saying, keep it dark. But man became bored and discovered art. In these early times, the elementary principles of movement were created by man, the artist. In the 13th century, Friar Roger Bacon demonstrated the wonders of the camera obscura. This consisted of a light-proof box. Bacon demonstrated that if a pinhole is made in one side of the box, no! on the opposite wall of the pinhole, there will appear an image. This image, however, without any form of lens system, will be inverted. The demonstration had a peculiar effect on his audience. They accused him of being in league with the devil. Which, of course, was quite untrue. Late 19th century. Inventors both sides of the Atlantic were hard at work, under strict privacy, perfecting the movie camera. By a strange coincidence, the same invention was claimed at the same time by many nations. In 1895, Monsieur Lumiere first demonstrated the moving picture, and Parisians were not slow to appreciate its possibilities. The cinema was born. The news spread rapidly round the world. Americans were quick to learn the associated arts of this new magic. Outdoor photography needed sunlight. And where was the best sunlight to be found? Why, in sunny California. And soon more American producers made their films in Hollywood. there must have been easier ways of making money. And now the movies were a habit, and an enthusiastic public were demanding more and more films. A broad comedy proved to be most successful. and films with a strong love interest also had box office appeal. However, this type of movie led to the installment of a most important gentleman who proved vital to the industry. may come and films may go. But in Hollywood, the Western went on forever until... 
talkies arrived. This brought a new problem. Producers had to find new techniques, styles, and ideas. Then the spoken word took on a new meaning. Og! This golden period gave us glorious color. And so, for the next 25 years, everyone happily sought escapism in the movies. Well, nearly everyone. Meanwhile, inventors were hard at work perfecting yet another medium. Once again, the great minds were brought to bear on a great problem. And that's it. A new approach to a new age. <laughs> Who can tell the shapes of screens to come? Kiorama. Romance-a-rama, smoke-a-rama, sex-a-rama, spoon-a-rama, egg-a-rama, piano-rama, tiger-rama, monster-rama, rama-rama, smell-a-rama, drops-a-rama. Ah! Now we are getting somewhere. <laughs> The film producer is forever striving for perfection in entertainment. 